Here are the top four things you'll want to know how to do in SpiderScribe. Number one, how to use the drawing mode. The drawing mode is an alternative way to insert stencils in SpiderScribe. Here's how to use it. Click on the paintbrush tool. Notice that the screen turns a purple tinge to let you know that this mode is enabled. Now, to insert a text box, draw a circle. A text box stencil will then be inserted. I'll type SEO. Next, to insert a file, draw a square. A file stencil will then be inserted, and you can select your file to upload. Lastly, to insert a picture, draw a triangle, and a picture stencil will then be inserted. You can then choose your image to upload. To exit, click exit at the bottom, or on the mouse icon at the top left hand side. And that's all there is to it. Number two, how to share mind maps. With SpiderScribe, collaboration is easy. Here's how. Click share. This will open up the sharing settings box. From here you can select whether to share privately, publicly with a link, or publicly on the internet. You can then add people to share with via email. If you add more than one, make sure to separate them with a comma. You can then select each collaborator's role as a reader or as an editor. You can select whether they can add people or change permissions. You can also email them and notice. Lastly, you can add a message if you like. Then click save. Number three, how to use the snapping tool. The snapping tool is a great way to keep the various elements of your mind map evenly spaced and organized. Here's how to use it. Click on the drop down arrow beside the magnet. This will provide you with various snapping options. If snapping to other stencils is selected, when you click and drag a stencil, as you can see, yellow lines will appear on the left or right hand side when it's in line with other stencils. This is great for correcting alignment. If snap to grid, however, is selected, when dragging a stencil, your stencil will move block by block according to your grid settings. Now, for example, if your grid is 40 by 40 pixels, your element will move 40 by 40 pixels. However, if it's set to 10 by 10 pixels, your element will move 10 by 10 pixels, as you can see. Now, within the snapping settings, you're also given the option of viewing the grid or keeping it invisible. Lastly, you can choose to have auto snap on or off by selecting or deselecting the magnet. And number four, how to customize stencils. SpiderScribe offers a number of stencils, including text boxes, files, pictures, maps, even events. To edit a stencil, follow these two simple steps. Step one, click on a stencil to select it. For example, I'll select pitch decks. Step two, begin to edit properties. The properties panel will expand. From here you can edit background color, border thickness, even font type, size, color, and style. Now notice that stencil formatting options vary for each stencil type. Some stencils provide more options and others less. Also notice that for quicker formatting you can select to automatically apply properties to new stencils. For more note taking, learning, and studying tips take a look at our learning series.